mimi nilifika tu class 8 actually alianza kumaliza hiyo class 8 Paul Kihuha, popularly known as Protisa, began his journey to entrepreneurship at the tender age of 15 years. Born in a poor family, Paul had to find alternative means to survive. Kutoka nikiwa mdogo, nimekuwa mse handy sana, unajua? Mse mechanical, nitafungua radio, sio naelewa. Nika decide nitatafuta a way ya ku survive bila hata ku apply job mahali. And uh, siwezi kumbuka hasa pesa yangu ya kwanza ilitoka wapi kwa sababu nimekuwa huo mse handy handy unajua like leo nitaitiwa kakazi fulani nifanye unajua ile normal normal ile ya vibarua vibarua unajua unaenda mjengo unaenda nini He started his venture by using scrap metals and slowly grew his business Kwa scrap metal a kg ni 50 bob So na chuma moja yenye unahitaji ku complete jib labda ni 10 kg so si unaona nika 500 So tunaweza sema less than 1000 iliweza kunifanyia kitu but later nikapatana na study za maisha na hao ndio walinipea 6000 ya kwanza i think ndio ilikuwa most pesa yenye nishashika kwa life yangu 6k nikaunda camera crane so nika decide kutengeneza machines zangu tunaelewa like benda cutters vitu kama hizo through referrals protisa slowly grew into a reputable film merchandise company nakumbuka kuna siku jama fulani alikuwa video director akanipigia tu akaniambia protisa nataka dolly and siku ana dolly mimi nika google nini nikaangalia angalia nikatengeneza kidoli tu kiujinga nikampelekea my first equipment ku haya nikampelekea akanilipa 3500 hiyo siku hata nilikuwa na feeling nitatupa hiyo doli sawa kwa sababu nimelipwa 3500 a day pesa yenye sija yani hii unajua because before nilikuwa nimezoea like a thousand but later through experience he 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 eh ni ngumu kidogo <laughs> lakini uh, normally normally my job ziko let's say nisha receive check a million A walk through his workshop reveals the extent of his handiwork. Jibs, arrows, guns and dollies are just but a few of the items that Protisa makes from his home turned workshop. Challenges zao nifanya ni kuemwambishia zaidi ama ni kuwe si unanielewa ni work hard zaidi si unanielewa kwa sababu nataka ku meet kitu sijafanya before. He now mentors the youth to be self employed. Kutoka 2016 hadi leo nimewaka na wase 45 sunaelewa hawa wasewa yangu wenye nafunza job actually 46 huyu ni wa 47 well, language to me ka cooperative machine ku mecrane to me fix crane na ile kopale body jisha tens of dollars so at least winning is a coin industry case apart from films paul has diversified into furniture and exterior deco designs umeku established ki plani like how cozy pesa ya maziwa nili kam nikaona niaje naweza try mbao unanielewa napenda mbao ni kitu nimekam ku realize napenda mbao everything yangu ni mbao isipokuwa tv and uh, nika decide niaje si nitengeneze vitu za mbao nikaanza kutengeneza kidogo kidogo hizi vitu za ndani ya nyumba nini si unajua viti and uh, rafiki tu fulani akakuja akaniambia unajua hii kitu unaweza uza wewe sawa nikamwambia leta customer uone nikiuza akaleta customer nikauza nikamwambia una roho unaweza leta more customers sawa tukafungua kampuni inaitwa pakacha with ordinary talent and extraordinary perseverance all things are attainable this is a true testimony of protesters life as he has managed to move up the ladder in his career life sara adam k24 for my hustle